everyone, Haley and I are in the car gonna hit up a couple of regular thrift stores today. Recently we've been going to the Goodwill Bins a lot and yeah. the flea market uh, and we've sort of neglected our local thrift spots. We're we do gonna... go thrifting like occasionally when it's just the two of us. Mm -hmm. We usually don't film it. So we're gonna film it for you guys today, see what we can find. This is gonna be part of our house budget. So I don't think, I don't, I think we have a pretty good amount of money right now. I haven't done the math lately, but whatever it says on the top of the screen here is how much money we have to work with today. So hopefully we can use some of that and turn it into even more money. First thrift stop of the day is this little uh, His House thrift store. I don't think it's family owned, but it's a lot smaller than, you know, Goodwill's and Salvation Army. Super cheap in here. This is the store where we found that Nintendo 64 uh, bundle for like 20 bucks. Okay, really interesting vintage Sony boombox here, a double boombox. It's the CFS W301. This thing is awesome. It's gonna record with it. Man, if this thing works, I bet this would be really good. Get it tested out here. What is that? What the heck is that? What the fuck? That spins. I am gonna go ahead and pick up the boom box. I'm not sure how much it's gonna cost us. Probably like between three and five bucks. I think there are 34 currently listed on eBay and 20 sold. And there's been one. Right there, the same model as us, sold for 80 bucks free shipping. This would probably cost about $15 or so to ship. So I think it'll be worth it if we pick it up. This thrift store also has a nice little outdoor section for like building supplies and just random junk. Honestly, you got some fake tiles, file cabinets, sinks, furniture. There's usually a, set of, uh, a section for golf clubs back here somewhere. But I will say it's kind of hard to find stuff that isn't broken or super ugly. But we always look around. All right. I think that'll do it for us today. Alrighty. Do you have your wallet? Mm -hmm. It's in the car. Yep. What do you? Five bucks. All right, I'm gonna go get my wallet. Be right back. First rule in thrifting for profit is to make sure you bring your wallet with you. Do not know. I don't. All right, thank you. You're all right. You have a blessed day. Yeah. Mystery dum dums. Thanks for visiting. Absolutely. This thrift store always has a big pile of dum dums by the cash register. I like getting the mystery flavors to see what we get. Mystery flavor. It's pink. It's like a strawberry or mm. water, watermelon. Maybe a watermelon. Very good. One time I got cinnamon and it was terrible. I think we're gonna try to add some steaks to today's video. If we can find, let's say 500. Do you think 500 is a good amount? Okay. $500 in potential profit in our thrift funds today. We are gonna take our new golf clubs that Haley and I both got uh, to the driving range. Enjoy yeah, let's for the do afternoon. It. Stop number two. Hello, my dear YouTube friends. I need to jump in here for one second, a quick interruption to thank the sponsor of today's video, Aura. Now, I know that YouTube ads can be sometimes kind of annoying, but you know what's more annoying than YouTube ads? Most, tell them. Tell them what it is, come in here. Identity theft. Have you ever Googled yourself? If not, you should definitely give it a try. It can be kind of interesting to see what types of information is out there on the interwebs available for anybody to just look at and use for whatever purposes they want. And that is where Aura comes into play. Essentially, there are these online companies called data brokers and their whole purpose is to gather information about you and sell it to other third party companies, making a ton of money for themselves and possibly exposing you to be scammed or a victim identity theft or something like that. So that's where Aura comes into play. They reach out to these companies and submit opt-out requests on your behalf because legally, if you ask a company like that to remove your information, they have to do it. They just really make it difficult to do. And Aura really knows the ins and outs of that community and they know how to get your information taken off of those websites. You guys can actually try Aura totally for free for two weeks by clicking the link in the description of the video down below, but they don't just offer the data removal service. They have a built-in password manager. They have a built-in VPN. They have parental controls, antivirus protection, and they also even offer for identity theft insurance and you get everything for one affordable monthly price. We've been using Aura for like four or five months now personally and in that time period I have seen a significant drop off in the number of robocalls we've been getting on my personal cell phone number and that alone is worth the subscription. So if you guys want to support the YouTube channel and see how much of your personal information has been leaked online, click the link down below for a 14-day free trial of Aura. Thanks again to Aura for sponsoring today's video. Check this out. Home Depot. Tony Stewart racing. Is this a, a radio? <laughs> is, this, is this coming up? Alright, yeah, it's definitely a radio. Let's see if we can 
It doesn't have a plug though. Oh, and it's it's broken in the back. Unfortunately, so it's missing the outlet cord. This is broken. The bottom's all broken. It was originally a hundred and twenty or twenty-nine dollars <laughs> JC Penny back in the day. But as cool as it is, we have to pass on it. We want sixteen dollars. I don't think it works. Anything good over here? I'm not seeing anything. Bunch of random Sports Illustrated kids. Kids mm -hmm. golf clubs. Got a black and decker edger over here. They want ten bucks for this. It's not bad if it works. I do not want to ship that though. Mr. Coffee. Something used to be in this used box. Used to be in there. Yeah, somebody probably stole that. This is a West Bend stainless steel something. Twenty-two dollars. A little pizza. Pizza maker or something. I'm not really seeing much today. So we got this Disney Ravensburger like 3D puzzle here. They want five bucks for it. It is sealed, but I can't tell if it's resealed or not. And it's only got 216 pieces. So if we bought it and then had to count the pieces, it's not really that big of a deal. Um, five bucks seems like a pretty good price in used condition on eBay. These are selling you know, 32 bucks, 30 bucks plus shipping, 33. I mean, prices are kind of all over the place. But five dollars, I don't think that's too bad to risk if we can get 25 or 30 bucks for it plus shipping. So I think I'll take a chance on that. Off to a little bit of a slow start today. All we got in there was that puzzle, but that's just uh, two stops out of the mini we're gonna make today. Right. I feel like we should open it. Should we open it? Sure. It's definitely sealed by Goodwill. You can tell it's been opened. Maybe. But we'll see if everything's in there. Ooh, wow. So it's like a whole castle thing. Yep. It looks like, I mean, it's well taken care of. Yeah. So I'm kind of assuming everything's so, in there. I don't think it, I mean, they, if somebody put it together and it took it back apart, they wouldn't have put all the pieces in yeah. the same bag. So I don't think it's ever been used. Maybe. I don't know. Cool find, Josh. We'll count it later. I said we were going to track our total expected profit. Uh, so I guess I should tell you what our expected profit should be. On the boom box at the first store, I want to be kind of, kind of conservative. I don't want to overestimate. I think we can make at least 40 bucks on that one. Uh, and then on the puzzle, let's say like 25 or so. So we're, so far we're at $65 towards our $500 goal. Stop number three. Check out these Crocs. I've never seen Crocs look like this before. They are the uh, like six fifty. Don't have like a tag on them or anything. But yeah, I'm gonna grab those. Got these Patagonia Capeline like long john pants, size large, made in USA. I don't know about selling used long johns. Are those would that be considered underwear? You're supposed to wear underwear under this. I don't know. I mean, Patagonia is a good brand. They look to be in good, good shape. I think they're good to go. Size large. I don't know how much these would be. Uh, pants are five seventy five. I don't think they would count these as pants. I'm, Hopefully they're gonna ring them up as like pajamas, which are like 375, but either way, I think that's worth it. All right, so we got this Allstate crew neck here. I was like, oh, I don't know about that, but it's on that vintage Fruit of the Loom tag. Like made in USA, adult medium, absolutely crispy clean. No issues at all. I don't know. I mean, normally I don't buy like branded stuff like that. Like people don't really wanna rep Allstate stuff, but this is gonna be $4. I think four dollars and 75 cents and i think we could get i don't know maybe 15 for it i think it's kind of cool also i forgot i didn't look up comps on those patagonia pants but there's a pair right there in the same color vintage patagonia capeline fleece pants sold for 29 dollars plus nine dollars in shipping so pretty good anything I found it. Ooh, those are fancy crocs yeah pretty cool and they're regular price they didn't try to huh, charge six dollars and 50 cents those are interesting. I've never seen Crocs like that. I think that's an easy 25 bucks or so. We have these Nike SB checks right here. Why? They got a little something, a little stain right there. But for $6.50, I think these are still a grab. So all the t shirts at our Goodwills locally are only $1.50. So I just got this pocket Carhartt tee, size medium. Really fits more like a men's large. This is the type of t-shirts that I wear. Uh, pretty solid. You're not going to make a fortune selling these, but these will always sell between 12 and 15 bucks or so a piece plus shipping. 
Um, at least that's what we usually get for them. So for $1.50, definitely go ahead and grab that. Also got this little vintage Russell athletic tee made in USA. Blue pocket tee, double stitch. It's got the nice little Russell athletic thing at the bottom. I don't see any stains or anything. It's a little faded just because it's probably 25 years old. But I think that's another scoop for $1.50. This is probably at least a $15 shirt. And once again, another bread and butter t-shirt, Columbia Sportswear Company. Columbia on the front, men's size large, black, no stains. Again, another $10 to $12 shirt pretty easily. And another score for $1.50, a nice little Travis Matthew Coast to Coast t-shirt. Travis Matthew is a golf brand. This is probably like a $35 shirt new. So use probably that $15 to $20 mark. But Travis Matthew is a really good brand to be able to look out for. And of course, we got to get the pickleball shirt from Babalat. It's a size extra large, so it might be a little bit big for me. But if it fits at all, even closely, I'm definitely going to keep this for personal use. I love pickleball. Down here we got another one of these Carhartt t-shirts, size medium, kind of like an olive green. I might be able to lot these two together for like 25, maybe 30 bucks or so, something like that. Okay, 28.63, around 29? Sure, yeah, 29's fine. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. You too. Haley's feeling a little bummed because she's oh, only yeah, found... I've only found one thing in three stores, but it, it happens. I'll just take this time to remind you about all the times that we go thrifting and you find all the good stuff. That's true. <laughs> Like someone's in a little bit of a slump. I'm not in a slump. Stop number four is going to be the Goodwill Bins that we normally come to, but we're going to go to the retail side first. Uh, then we might go to the bins later on. Our location is kind of weird because they don't put out stuff throughout the day. They just have the new stuff when it opens in the morning, and then that's it. So this time of day, there's basically nobody there's over no there. There's no reason to go because it's been picked through all day. Yeah. You can't find some stuff, but it's pretty rare. It's unusual. So we might head over there, but first stop retail side which apparently is being remodeled or something we got these faded glory chunky sandals over here thick bottoms faded glory is not really a fantastic brand but these are in great shape and these are kind of coming back in style like y2k chunky sandals i'm gonna head on over to ebay some right there very similar sold for 38 bucks plus shipping we got all sorts of those like chunky y2k vintage sandals anywhere from 30 to 50 bucks even maybe even more depending on uh, the exact style like those sold for 75 bucks faded glory so just because faded glory is not a good brand usually uh, i would still probably check out their sandals like this from time to time these will be six dollars and fifty cents i think we can get about 35 for them got a nice pair of chacos over here i think let's check them out and make sure the bottoms are okay and oops they're a little a little worn the chaco logo is off that side what size are these these are men's 11. bottoms are going that one these will also be six dollars and fifty cents. Man, the logo's worn off that side too. It's not bad. I just, I mean, chacos aren't nearly as good as they used to be. Uh, even in good condition with the logos, they probably sell for like twenty or twenty-five bucks. So I'll probably pass on those. But if they're in good shape and you can get them for super cheap, I'd probably pick them up. We are checking out the hard goods section, as always. It's just really hit and miss. And for the last couple months, it's just been miss after miss after miss. Everything's just either broken or just too junky or not worth it. I don't know, we just have a lot better luck with clothing and shoes than we do hard goods. We got a pretty cool Toon Squad jersey right here. I don't think it's vintage, but it is Michael Jordan, 23. The tag is just like a, just has extra large size. So I don't think it's anything too fancy, but it'll only be $4.75. I think we can probably get at least 15 for it. We actually added this jersey to a whatnot auction last night and it sold for $26, netting us $22.67 after fees. Over here we got this pretty nice Tommy Hilfiger, Tommy Jeans jacket. Looks like it's a size large. Um, it's made in Sri Lanka. I'm not 100% sure if it's vintage or not. I think it's pretty old, but I don't know if it's vintage for sure. Tommy Hilfiger is not quite as good as it used to be you know, four years ago when it was incredibly hot. This would have been like a hundred dollar jacket a couple years ago. I think nowadays this will probably go for maybe 30 bucks, 25 or 30 bucks. And it's only gonna be, I think $5 and 75 cents here. So let's scoop it. And speaking of faded glory, we got a faded glory authentic wear, ladies small, like a, it's almost like a shacket or something. It's got a really cool like vintage pattern to it. Full zip, YKK zipper, cool button thing. I think that's pretty cool. It's got a really nice vintage look to it. I wish it was made in the USA, but other than that, it's pretty cool. This will be $4.75. Probably get like 20 bucks for it, I imagine. 
Haley's still bummed because she still hasn't found anything at all. Get it? I'm so sorry. It's okay. Here's a hypothetical question. Let's say I knew someone that for the first time in their career was experiencing like a minor slump. What do you think you would suggest to that person if they were going through that? 2013. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Guys, go ahead and drop some encouraging comments in the comment section below. <laughs> Haley is really I'm sticking it out. If, I'm sticking it out. Though. If we went thrifting and we went to four stores and I didn't find anything, I would be ready to go home for sure. So shout out Haley. Love you so much. Maybe we can find some in the bins. Haley, you walked right by these. <laughs> what is it? Oops. I like moccasins. Hmm. I feel like something's wrong with them if they're just sitting there. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. Do you guys see anything wrong with them? There's nothing wrong with them. I was just going to go over there and get a trash bag, but they actually have bins today because nobody's here. Because it's pointless to come. Apparently, it's pointless to come after they open, but apparently not. So we got some other moccasins. We also got this Gonix duffel bag over here. I've never heard of that brand before. And it's not a company because Gonix is written on the the zippers as well. Like it's not like an embroidery thing. So pretty lightweight. I think I'll take a chance on that. My phone is in the other bag and I don't really want to get it out. Risk it. Also got this very cute little shopping cart. I don't know why. I just want it. Got a nice section of bags over here. I almost got this Under Armour. I think it's a baseball duffel bag maybe, but it's got some damage on the side. But I do have this little Highland Tactical backpack. It's not a great brand, but it is a tactical backpack. It's got big zippers. It's got a bunch of pockets on the outside as well as the inside. It looks to be in solid condition all the way around. I think I've actually seen these for sale at TJ Maxx before for like 30, 40 bucks. So I think we can probably get this for about two dollars here today and maybe get 15 or 20 bucks for it we got a diaper bag over here that says dd but it's the diaper dude dad's checklist that's pretty cool it's like a, a diaper bag specifically for dads yeah, i'll grab that it's interesting looks like this bin is going to be fun to dig through it's like accessories like bags and hats stuff like that we love selling stuff like that it's got a nice little coaster hat here, but it was pretty dirty. Look at this bag. That thing's huge. I'm gonna get that for personal use, just like as a, an additional like IKEA bag supplement. This John Deere hat. It's not vintage, unfortunately, but I'll still get that. Nice colorway. We got a Disney, Disney Parks, Mickey Mouse. Man, I, I did not expect us to find so much stuff today getting here so late. There's literally like nobody here. There's like six people here. And this down here, it's like one of those hiking backpack, Coleman. Really cool pattern. It's got a backpack on there. Uh, this handle's this handles broken off of that. I don't know that, I man. It's still got the back padding. It's still got the front straps. Those are all in good shape. I'm pretty sure the only issue is just that, that handle. It's got like a water thing you put like a water pouch or something in there hey, I'm gonna get that hey Liv you found anything Still are, empty -handed. are you serious it's not Man. my day today I got some Michael Kors just kidding those are funky I found one Disney Princess Tom collab shoe oh my probably. gosh we got are these Kizik's no these are Zeba the other, if you could find the other one of these, these are good. These are those like shoes that you slip oh, along. Yeah. Still looking for this Zeba shoe for Haley. Also found one singular suede kids Ugg. But I got these little cute pair of New Balance shoes with baby shoes. Look how cute those are. I think it's a little stained on the laces, but I think I'm gonna get those. They're so light, I doubt they'll cost anything. Probably getting them for free. But I still want to find these Zebas. These it's Zeba, Z-E-B-A. Good brand of shoe. They like break down the heel so you can slip your foot in without having to tie it. Uh, and I think the last pair of these we sold for like $55 plus shipping. So, and they're in good shape. At least this one is. We just gotta find its match. Well, you guys, I have finally found something. A little Dooney and Drew. Cute little crossbody bag. It's got some scratches on the front, but like nothing too crazy. Inside's pretty clean. Yeah. Finally nice. found something. Nice. A little Dooney bag. 
That's all. I like that color too, that dark like army green. I've been looking for this Zeba shoe and the pink Ugg down there. Uh, I don't know, like five or 10 minutes. It's just not worth any more time at this point. But we'll uh, head back over to the other side and look for some more hard goods, I think. I walked over here to the luggage aisle. Look what we got right here. <laughs> Literally just sitting here. Oh, it's not a Dooney. It's a Karina something. It's Gosh, I thought that was a Dooney sitting here. I mean, it feels like a leather bag, but it's not Dooney. That's not a Dooney, but look at that one. Oh my gosh. I've never seen one of these. Like, not one with like such a big, big logo. That's crazy. Dooney's not like, you know, it's this is probably like a $30 bag or something. They just sell really fast for us. and. They're high quality, rarely faked. So it's just one of our favorite bags to pick up. So when we got home, Haley looked this up on eBay and it turns out it's not worth $30. Like I thought it's actually worth closer to $130. There's been seven of them that have sold in the last 90 days and all of them between $120 and $140, depending on color and condition. So I think our $2 Dooney and Burke bag at the bins is gonna be easily sold for over a hundred bucks. A little horse plush over here. It's got a little bit of dirt on them, but it should wash up. I'm pretty sure this is the horse from Frozen. Let's see. It's on a Disney store. So it's something Disney. I don't know if he's supposed to have somebody on it or what, but I'll probably go ahead and pick him up. We came up here to the front to check out and I just saw this really cool Vera Bradley lunchbox. Oh, here. I didn't notice it was Vera Bradley. Yeah. I. You're just in a funk. I am in a slump today. Looks to be pretty clean. I grab that, that's cute. We also added this lunchbox to our whatnot auction last night and it netted us $14.66 after fees. Oh wait, Wilson duffel bag, Wilson leather duffel bag. That's cute. It's got all the little nubs on the bottom. It's got, oh it's got, nubs. it's got the arm strap. That's nice. I like this, this brand is um, BDG from Urban Outfitters. And I like how they're doing like the three stitchings. Oh to yeah. make it seem like it's Lululemon. I mean, that's... Yeah, I, mean, I think that's a cool crew net. I didn't see if there's any stains or anything. Oh, on. let's see. Stain right there, but... Where? Right there. That's just distressing. Get it, since you since you haven't got much. You found it. Modern Champion Reverse Weaves. Oh, okay. Some stains. Yeah, some stains up top that probably wouldn't come out. We can just tie-dye it. I just get do it. You so like, tie, you, well, do you we can sell it as a tie dye project. I think we should get it. Yeah, remember we're at the bins. This stuff is like, Real well, cheap. the actual price is a dollar, a dollar and eighty nine cents per pound, and then the other stuff is even cheaper than that. Okay, final find of the day, and then I promise we're gonna go check out a nice little Under Armour tee, size three XL. It's a good size. Anytime we do a whatnot auction with like men's size, medium size, large, we always get people say, I wish you had bigger sizes. So this should be pretty good. No stains, no holes. Oh yeah, North Speaking Face hoodie. Sizes. Oh, it's a small. Still well, the North Face. It's a women's medium. Definitely get that. Look at there, two, two super solid ponds. This is like 30 bucks total, 30, 40 bucks total right here. And we were about to leave. Okay, I lied again. Haley found a Carhartt t-shirt. It has a hole right there, but it's Excellent. an XL tall. XL tall. Ooh, and nice it's got, Carhartt spell out. Mm. Yeah. It's got an issue on the front, but mm. like other than that, like this is the perfect like work shirt for yeah. somebody. That's awesome. I get it. I lied for the I third time, like, folks. Maybe, Haley just can't stop streak, finding stuff. Maybe my streak is. Maybe we should need to go through the rest of this bin. I know. Look, this is a nice one. Two XL tall. No issues. I don't. I don't think. I like that color too. That orange. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'll grab that. Right. Thirty-five dollars and two cents. Thank you so much. So at the beginning of this video, I said that we were going to regular thrift stores and not the bins or the flea market, but not we can't all- help it. We can't the help it. The bins is our favorite. It, <laughs> it, just... it is really good. And I think this video solidifies that. Like that's why we like going to the bins because we can go for like, you know, 45 minutes to an hour and a half usually. And we can find like a whole car full of stuff. Well, we found more stuff in the bins than we did at all, all the other, the other places combined. combined and spent less money. Right. <laughs> like right. it's just crazy. So did we cheat a little bit? No, no, I don't it think so at all. Thrifting. It was still it's thrifting. Still it was fine. Yeah. Did we hit our goal of five hundred dollars in potential profit? Absolutely. All right. So obviously, you guys, we were at the driving range because we hit our goal. 
We're both excited. Very excited. I have this new set of irons that I have not never hit before. We got them at the flea market a couple weeks ago. Also, if you notice, Haley doesn't have a golf bag, uh, and that's because her old one has snake residue in it, she assumes, and she's just too scared to use it. I haven't so touched she's it. Gonna, she's going to just carry her clubs in her hands. There she is. No golf bag. No golf bag. Josh got us a big bucket. Are, do these work? I don't know. Yep, it works. These are cool, so you just you get your balls and you dump them in here. And then whenever you're ready to hit, you just push the push the ball button. The T goes down. The ball's like go up on the tee and then it pushes it up ready to hit and after you hit it it automatically goes back down and gets another ball and you can adjust the height of the tee for drivers three woods irons whatever you want what are you gonna hit first first shot of the day is gonna be with my driver pxg 0811x I actually got this on whatnot the other day for like i don't know like 140 bucks or something like that i haven't been hitting it very well lately though so we'll see how this goes Here's the ball. Pops up another one. Ready, ready for action. One second. Oh, that was, just edit that. That out. was that was bad. Don't show everybody that. All right, Haley, what are you hitting first? Um, <laughs> getting get out the out big guns. I'm I'm gonna also start with my driver. I currently have this Callaway this guy. FTI. Yeah, he's very dirty, but you know. it's okay. Square body. Well, look at there. Crushed it too. right down the middle. I'm gonna start with my tried and true seven iron. Again, this is the first time I've actually hit these clubs, so we'll see I how think, it goes. I think you'll do well. Yeah. Her old clubs were like some Lady Hagens, which basically just a very like very basic beginner set of clubs, and these yeah. are pretty good. These are Callaway X12s. Okay. Again, really easy to hit. Don't make fun of me if it's bad. Okay. I'm saying it to them too. Oh, okay. I know you wouldn't make fun of me. Not verbally. That was pretty bad. Well, it's a stinger. It's like Tiger Woods. It felt nice though, compared to my old clubs, yeah. for sure. Another stinger. Oh, that was bad. Stinger. <laughs> there you go. We'll draw right to the flag stick. I meant to do that. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. It was a little vlog style, I think. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button down below. And I think the most important lesson we learned today is never underestimate the Goodwill Benz. Absolutely. We found a lot of good stuff at a very weird time mm -hmm. of day. So thank you guys so much for watching. You're the best. We will catch you on, on the, the next, next one. one.